and you want your meals for free. Okay, so here we are back with the LC475. 33 megahertz. What's the jigget? First boot. Got video, which is always a good sign. Now, before I did this, I did run. I did run one benchmark, uh, which uh, gave me the results of two six nine nine and two seven o oh, two. as the results. So we'll do that again on this, see if it's any different, which would then indicate that something has improved. Now I am, I have just left in the um, 25 megahertz chip, the LC chip. Uh, I have attached a heatsink to it, as you can see. But uh, I will stick in the 040 full blown very shortly. I think just a heatsink without a fan is more than sufficient. I was having a look at some of the uh, quadras that Apple had back in the day, um, 850 in particular, that used a 33 megahertz 040. Just a small little clip-on heatsink. So I, I think think I, I think something like what I've got on there now should be more than sufficient. All right, um, let's get your front row seat. Oh, beautiful. for a few seconds. So we're trying to beat two, 2699. Oh, there we go. 3567. So that's a definite increase. And I've misplaced my pen. Yep. I'm going to go find a pen. Kitchen. Why didn't I think about looking in the kitchen? So three, five, six, seven. So it, the processor is running above its rated specification, but so is everything else on the main board. This one's quick. Three eight six two, which is much faster than two seven o oh, two. Or 2918. I ran it a couple of times to see if there'd be any difference. So that's a thousand percent better compared to a Mac Plus. So that's definitely an improvement. Uh, I do have some other benchmarking things that I'll give a go in a few seconds. Uh, Mac identifier 3.02, no idea if that'll run on this, and uh, speedometer uh, version 4.02. So we'll give those a go. See how we end up. Heat sinks warm to the touch. Not really doing anything though, am I? Now apparently also video is sped up because it's all part of the it's like overclocking the uh, front side bus on an old PC, which is good for me. One thing about these uh, LC 040s is that um, there's a high chance that they are faster than what they've been marked as, but they've just been underclocked to meet demand, which is... Uh, very sneaky thing. It actually, uh, the first time I ever came across that was on my AMD Athlon 500. Many years later I took the chip apart to have a look at the internals. Um, and surprise, surprise, it was a 700 or something. Why couldn't they have just given me a 700? I would have been very happy with a 700. Uh, let's try a Mac identifier. Did not load at startup, something about control panels. Okay. 
It's a control panel. Got it. Speedometer! This one sounds more exciting anyway. Looks fast. Click it. So it knows it's no FPU. Excellent. That's a good point. I don't think I actually had a look at um, system profile yet. Oh, yeah. It sees it as being 33 megahertz. LCO40. Alright, so there should be some sort of benchmark analysis. Utilities. Quadra 605 equals 1.0. Or well, what do you know? LC 475 and Quadra 605s are the same thing. Run the test somehow. <laughs> Benchmark mix. Run all tests. There we go. So we're also running the uh, compact flash card, which should maybe give us some sort of result from what speed that runs at. So if one is an LC four seven five Oh look at that, look at those results. They're all about thirty percent faster. And it hasn't crashed, which is which is good. It's definitely tempting to get the parts to try going up to forty megahertz. Definitely tempting. But we mustn't be greedy. Thirty percent is more than enough. Tests are done. So, video color benchmarks. We came in a little bit better, about 20% better than the uh, stock standard. Up here, we came in about 30% better for CPU based tests, I guess. Definitely a good result. Huh. So the disk hard drive was a little bit under, but given that it doesn't make any noise and it has two gig of storage, I'm not going to complain. Math is a lot higher than it should be. CPU and graphics ahead of the curve. Performance rating 1.24, not too bad. So let's uh, shut it all down. I'm going to pop in the um, 040 
40 megahertz chip so it'll run a little bit slower than it's meant to which is probably good for any old CPU and we'll uh, see how it performs with an FPU incredible this chip was manufactured 2008 week 20 it's a very modern chip never handle these by the pins like I am you can't really see that probably mask version is L88M which is apparently cool running I don't care I'm putting a heatsink on it anyway so stay tuned we'll be back with more benchmarks part two is actually bad news so have a watch